What we define by intelligent robot is a robot that can uh, sense the environment through sensors, then process information about the environment, and then act in the environment intelligently. Traditionally, you know, you could have computer vision as a separate module and robotics as a separate module. Here we combine the two. We are trying to bring them together uh, in a group project. So in this project, we're creating fully autonomous robots. And the whole idea is basically we need to create the logic to control the robot to do some uh, tasks. So it can like perform various functions like going around the room or finding objects, taking pictures of things. Again, we have to use all these skills on an actual robot and identify, you know, things like identifying a window or identifying that's the moon or that's the earth, you know, things like that, which as a human is very easy to do, but as a robot is not that easy to do. We're basically trying to create some form of object detection methods, whether it's going to be through basic threshold detection or you can use some form of object detection. So we've been mainly tasked to develop this autonomous system and make it in a way that it achieves the task that it was required to do. Part of robotics uh, and robot programming is actually trying to iterate on your solution. So what we are trying to encourage students is to test their solution in different environments and try to make sure that their solution is robust. The whole process basically where you get the robot from scratch, you program it, then you run experiments, you evaluate and you improve on it. I think my main takeaway is to understand how to design intelligent systems another day. That's the main focus of the project. And this will reflect on the, in, on the industry since as we are seeing, we are seeing a huge trend in autonomous system. The whole idea that we're making robots that uh, actually go around in the real world, I think that's very exciting. And the whole idea that one day um, my work will actually, and like all of our work will be actually represented in the real world. If you go in any of the major companies and medium-sized companies that are looking for people to join their teams to do robot programming, you will see that in the requirements they are asking to have experience with the robot operating system. So by the end of this module, students will develop all the required skills to find a job and work as software engineers or research engineers in industry. I think as well just getting to see all of this, the theory that we've learned over the past six weeks actually applied in the real world and apply it on a robot. We're building all of us. What's there not to enjoy? And it just makes the whole thing feel very fruitful. Like, uh, yes, we did this together.